The president of the company that owns the freight train that levelled the heart of Lac Migantic, claiming the lives of up to 50 people, is without doubt the most despised person in Quebec. Well, today he spoke exclusively to CNN to tell his side of the story. Just to clarify, in the engineer, sir, are you saying it's the engineer's fault? With emotions raw and tempers frayed, Rail World President Ed Burkhart faced the grief-stricken community of Lac Megantic, unprepared for the seething anger that was about to be levelled against him. My visit there, which was designed to, uh, to try to uh, get a healing process underway, uh, didn't work. Describing the press conference as a failure, the boss of the company that owns the runaway train that wiped out the heart of this little town, claiming the lives of up to 50 people, sat down with CNN for an exclusive interview. People misunderstood me. Maybe I didn't uh, present my case very well. The 74-year-old from Chicago has been in the rail business for more than 50 years and says he's never witnessed a disaster on this scale. I talked about that I had no empathy or no sympathy, and, and in fact, I have plenty. The company initially believed there was evidence of tampering, but Burkhart now says it appears the train's engineer didn't apply enough air and hand brakes. So there's no question it's a brake failure on the train. The train rolled away. <clears throat> that speaks for itself, doesn't it? There's no sugar coating that. As the engineer becomes the key focus of this investigation into one of the worst rail disasters in recent history, authorities here in Quebec are analysing these nine tankers that were originally part of the runaway train. They're paying particular attention to the braking systems and tracks, trying to figure out how the freight train and its 73 cars of crude oil managed to roll away, derail and explode, annihilating the town centre. Well, we're shocked and devastated at what has occurred. And the loss of life and loss of property is, is incredible. Interestingly, Mr Burkhart wasn't given access to the site, nor was he granted a meeting with the mayor or the Red Cross. Now, he says that he and his company will continue to assist police, but he will not return to La Migantique until he is welcome.